Um, it was Justin Trudeau who ignored calls from the leader of, uh, of the opposition to release those names to Parliament. He has repeatedly done that. And now the... Uh, I, thanks, Mr. Chair. Well, while I appreciate members of this committee thinking that the motion is out of order because they don't like it, that's, that's not exactly how it works. And I think what we're seeing now here uh, at this committee is that, that there's only one party in this country... Uh, that is calling for the release of this name and every for the release of these of these names, the names that uh, the prime minister has alluded to, the names that we know are are being kept secret. And everyone else is trying to work to hide the names, particularly the changing stories of uh, of Miss May since before and after she uh, she she read the briefings uh, or or she was briefed in. Now we see that the NDP. Um, are, are trying to distract from what was brought to this committee as a serious issue today, a ser the serious issue of foreign interference by, by India, and, and they're now playing politics with it. Um, listen, listen to this. I agree completely with Polyev's decision not to take the bait. Trudeau has been trying for a year and a half to restrain what Pierre Polyev can do by trying, uh, by trying to say... Um, come and get this private briefing. And oh, by the way, then you'll be held to an official secret and that you won't be able to talk about this anymore. Do you know who said that, Mr. Mr. Chair? That was Thomas Mulcair. That, that, that was the leader of the NDP when the NDP used to be an opposition party that wasn't helping the Liberals cover this up. The question is, is what is the government trying to hide? Now, for everybody watching, uh, they might not know that the CSIS Act allows the government to offer information to any Canadian about specific risks of foreign interference without forcing them into sworn secrecy or controlling what they say. But this motion particularly is about releasing the names that Canadians deserve to know of any parliamentarian in any party that has been wittingly uh, uh, associated uh, with foreign interference, with a foreign government working against the interests of Canadians. But receiving a secret be uh, uh, briefing um, would even according to the the prime minister's chief of staff would would prevent the recipient from using that information in any manner. Now, I don't think that's very smart for an opposition uh, party, uh, one that only exists, uh, the only opposition party that exists to 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 come to force the prime minister to come clean with Canadians uh, in uh, in in what he is trying to hide. This. This this particular uh, this particular motion that was dropped at uh, at committee makes a mockery the same kind of mockery uh, that uh, that the Trudeau government has repeatedly made with foreign interference. What we witnessed uh, at uh, at the public inquiry this week was nothing more uh, than well rehearsed. Uh, partisan smears um, by a failing prime minister who is facing rejection from Canadians from coast to coast and increasingly from his own Liberal Party, ones that are writing, having letter writing campaigns to oust him from his leadership. And it is beyond rich uh, for the prime minister to grandstand, given the record uh, that his government has shown on not taking foreign interference uh, uh, seriously um, with all of the benefits of, of the government agencies that he has with all of the information that he was that he was warned with, uh, including uh, in, in the Liberal Party and the fact that he refused to act. It is this prime minister uh, and, and his government who repeatedly claimed that they weren't aware of foreign interference happening right under their noses, despite a massive paper trail of, of warnings from uh, from officials. It is. Justin Trudeau's government, uh, which mysteriously sat, as we learned from uh, the inquiry last week, on, CISA on a CISA surveillance warning, um, uh, a warrant application for a liberal power broker for 54 days, and still there is no answers about that. The minister says he doesn't know. Uh, other ministers say that he doesn't know. There are staffers who, who gave absolutely no answers at, uh, at that commission. It is Justin Trudeau's party who willingly allowed uh, Chinese high school students to vote in the now infamous uh, Han Dong nomination uh, race, and that was that was fine. Um, it was Justin Trudeau who ignored calls from the leader of uh, of the opposition to release those names to Parliament. He has repeatedly done that, and now the entire country 
is asking for those names. You cannot go to the committee under the under the guise of providing information. Uh, drop that kind of partisan uh, partisan smear job on uh, on 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 members of uh, of parliament, and then not come clean with the names. And the only people that are looking to have those names uh, uh, told to the Canadian public is the Conservative Party. Uh, there is we are fighting now every single party that is working with Justin Trudeau and his government to cover up these names and Canadians deserve to know Canadians deserve to know which members of parliament in which party no matter what are colluding with foreign governments wittingly or unwittingly and uh you know, unlike others who are willing to uh, to limit their ability to to hold government to uh, account on on important issues of, of national security, conservatives will not do that, and uh, Mr. Polyev will not be get left, you know, uh, under a gag order and left unable to speak uh, about any of the information he receives. Uh, but all of that to say that these names have to have to come out. Um, and they have to be, to, and, and there's only one person who can do that, and that's the Prime Minister of Canada. The government, through CSIS, is authorized by a particular section in the CSIS Act. Uh, it's it's section 12.1. He could act at any time to utilize threat reduction measures to notify the leader of a political party of issues concerning national security. He did not do that. Instead, he chose to make it public in, a, in, a, in an inquiry and cast aspersions uh, with absolutely no evidence and no follow through on, on letting Canadians know who those people are, who those members of parliament is. This tool has been available to his government since he, since he started, since 2015. The, they, he, he could use that tool to inform Mr. Polyev in, in, and he's not doing that. All of that. All of that to say is that the motion on the table is to release the names. Again, there is one party asking for, uh, for this prime minister to release every single one of those names and the other parties uh, that are purportedly in opposition helping the prime minister hide those names, hide the identities of all of those members of parliament. The question really is to, to the entire committee is what on earth are you hiding? What is the prime minister hiding? Uh, I think that's the question that we have to get to the bottom of in this committee. And I, 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 I hope that members will vote for this amendment to make those names public for the, for the betterment of our national security and for every Canadian to know who represents them and for every Canadian to know ahead of the next election who they are actually voting for, which country they are working for, and if they have Canadian best interests at, uh, at heart. And only the Prime Minister can do that. Everything else is pure politics. That's what we've seen this week, and unfortunately, that's what we're seeing right now at this committee. Thank you. We go now to uh, Mr. Helen.